This week's review gun is the Kamita Orion SPR. Manufactured in Spain, this multi-shot PCP costs just £399. Despite its modest price, it's a handsome gun with some impressive features and it feels very well built. So let's take a closer look and see what it's got to offer. The ambidextrous wooden stock has some really nice graining and is also fitted with QD studs so it's ready for you to fit a sling or bipod without having to reach for the drill. The woodwork also features panels of checkering on the forend and on the pistol grip. The checkering is tidy, situated in the right place and certainly helps to improve grip. The forend is very long, so you certainly won't struggle to find somewhere to put your leading hand, whatever hold you prefer to use. And while the pistol grip could probably benefit from a slightly steeper rake, it still feels comfortable and gives you good trigger attack. One thing I really like about the stock is the adjustable cheek piece, which you can move up and down and then lock in exactly the right place to give perfect alignment between your eye and the scope. The Orion SPR weighs a very manageable 3.5 kilos unscoped. It's an adult sized air gun, but still measures a relatively compact 103 centimeters with the supplied moderator fitted. It's very well balanced and feels great in the shoulder, which is testament to the design of the ambidextrous handle. The finish of the metalwork is very tidy, especially considering this air gun's price point and the length of the scope rails gives you plenty of clamping options when it comes to mounting up. The cold hammer forged barrel is made in Komita's own factory and apart from looking the business, the chunky tapered silencer on the end of it does a great job of muting the muzzle blast. To fill the Orion, simply push the cover off the front of the cylinder and couple up to the inlet. A 200 bar fill gives more than 150 consistent shots at close to the UK legal limit. And it's easy to see when it needs topping up because there's a clearly marked pressure gauge on the underside of the stock. The 22 caliber Orion is equipped with a 13 shot magazine. You load it up with the clear plate facing away from you, loading pellets tail end first, turning the cover clockwise to open up another chamber and gradually tensioning the spring. When it's fully loaded, you turn the cover back to its original position and it's ready to go. The clear casing at the back of the magazine means you can keep an eye on how many pellets you've got left. The mag is cycled by a rear bolt action, which also cocks the gun and probes the pellet into the breech. It's a very sturdy mechanism, but it's also very smooth and it worked without any hiccups during our testing. There's a manual safety catch situated just in front of the trigger. You pull it back to make the gun safe and then push it forwards when you're ready to take the shot. It's very positive and works very well, but it's just a bit too close to the trigger for my liking. And that trigger mechanism is a very impressive adjustable two-stage unit that certainly wouldn't feel out of place on an air gun costing much more than this one. The blade is a little bit more curved than I would usually like, but I have to admit that it feels very comfortable. Straight from the box, the first stage is a bit short, but the second stage is crisp with a very predictable break point, so I was happy to leave it as it was. That's the Comita Orion SPR's main attributes, so let's let it loose on the range and see what it's capable of. I'm certainly impressed with that. We're lucky to have a fairly calm day today and the Orion's enabled me to take advantage of those conditions and it's turned out a very tight cloverleaf group at 25 meters. Now, that sort of accuracy tells me that this gun's going to be up to pretty serious hunting assignments, although it really does fall within the plinking gun price bracket. The Comita Orion SPR really has exceeded my expectations. For under £400 you get a multi-shot PCP with some great features and no obvious skimping on quality. It looks good, feels good and shoots really well. And it's quiet. It may be classed as an affordable air gun, 
but it's certainly built for proper field work.